Hello Zebaherd, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. In the last episode, we explored Rico Harbor, got everything except for one shine, that'll be coming back to later. For today, though, we still have a couple of other things to do. I don't know if Peach and Tojorp have anything new to say. Oh, I'm getting that feeling again. This is not good. Has something bad happened again? It feels like it. Mario, please check it out for me. Will do. Master Mario, have you seen the message updates? They're from the Delfino Emergency Broadcast System. They'll tell you what's happening on the island. I have, even though they go very, very slow. Um, right now we're heading over to the other side of the east part of Delfino Square. Hello, oh you have mushrooms. So it's true, our shine sprites really have left us. I'm taking it pretty hard to tell you the truth. I just wish the sun would return and tan us like before. Don't worry, I'm working on it. It is slowly getting a little bit brighter around here. I figure since we haven't been to this part of the island, might as well talk to some of the villagers that we're walking through. I am not lying. I saw the plans for the statue. Why don't you use your ears and start listening to me? It's because of the squid brains like you that it got dark. Oh my gosh, heated arguments over here. So the model for the Grand Pianta was your ancestor? That's ridiculous, seriously, come on. You are such a liar. It's because of liars like you that our shine sprites left us. Oh man, okay, I'll let them you know, keep their arguing. I think that's something for later, but we can go this way. Oh yeah, these are the two jailers. I guess this is where the jail was, right? Oh no, 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 I don't wanna get thrown back in there. Let's be polite. Hey, are you slacking off? No, no, just wanted to say hello. And clean up those walls, now, slacker. Oh gosh, all right, let's get out of here. Oh, right, there's a lot of people selling some fruit. I thought I told you, no free samples. Now, where's that big old shine? The guidebook says it's like the shining eye of Isle of Delfino. Yeah, right now it's sort of covered in goo. So you're probably still involved in some naughty stuff, right? Like huge disasters and stuff? Yep, I knew it. Promise it's not us, we're trying to fix it. Whoa, there's even some hot peppers here. Running around and getting all sweaty is nice, but you can eat these and get just as sweaty, yes sir? All right, we got a couple more to talk to. Hello. Sure is dark. Is this the daytime? Our city's all dark? So some of these Delfino Plaza people are actually visitors as well, they're tourists. Delicious fruits need, to sun, need the sun to live. At least ours do. And at this rate, we may never have fruit again. Oh, where have all the shine sprites gone off to? Well, I'm doing a pretty good job finding them, I think. We're at 22 so far. And it looks like we have one more villager hiding out in the, the, the shade. Hey, I think you're in need of a pair of my special sunshades. Okay, so it's you again, the sunshade person. I think if we get enough shines, they'll give us a pair because it does actually get brighter in the game. So it can be a little bit too bright for some players. So I think they allowed the sun shades to be an option. Is there a toad stuck in there? Okay, let's help out the toad. There you go, we got you. Gotta get you ungooped as well. Oh no. It's very stubborn. I might have to just get rid of this first. So let's go for that. Come on. Come on, you'll get out of there sooner or later. There it is. Oh boy, here we go. So this one was a little tricky last time. It just stuck around for a while. But there we go. There's one. There's two. And there's three. But before, it still tried to stick around after all that. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Okay, not too bad. There's so many of them. Old family, these little jellyfish guys. Got it? Ah, okay, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. There you go. I think that was it. Awesome. So with that, the Delfino Squares, uh, the Delfino Plazas, uh, Lighthouse Returns, how cool is that? Now we can clean off little Toad over here and chat with him. Thanks, Mario. You're welcome. Didn't have much to say after all. But yeah, there isn't too much to do around here, so I guess we're good to head into our next area, right over this way, which is... We're gonna find out, ooh, it looks pretty cool in there. This is going to be Gelato Beach, which is episode one, Dunebud Sandcastle Secret. So we're starting with a secret level right away, interesting. 
Usually secrets are later on, but something with that little bud. Yeah, the dune bud. This beach looks pretty populated. What are those things? Hello. Hey you, don't get the water dirty here. And don't step on the dune buds. Thanks for your cooperation. So I'm not supposed to step on them. I don't know what would happen. So these guys, can I even get rid of them? I don't think I can defeat them, but I can hop on them to get a coin. But if we get to the wrong angle of them, I'm pretty sure they launch us way high up in the air. So yeah, standing on it doesn't do much, but if I water it, oh my. Whoa! It launches us, okay. It makes like a little snail shell pattern or something, not quite sure. That was neat though, definitely. So there's a couple of those on the island. Let's water up some more of them. Oh, is that not quite enough? There it goes, there it goes. Ah! Whoa! It's a sandcastle. So I guess I gotta get over there? Oh, yeah, this is a big arrow. Is this our secret? Oh, he's taking a nap. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! Wait, leave me alone. Whoa! That's so neat! So the sandcastle entryway was sort of a path to a new area. Okay, so it's way up there. Oh my. This one's definitely gonna be a bit of a challenge. Gotta remember we don't have blood with us. And these platforms are falling behind me. I don't like that. But hey, in the meantime, could we get an extra one up or two from these nails? There's a coin. I'm trying my best not to jump right off the edge. They do sort of play it a little close. Aha, there's the one up. Chances are there won't be any from here. But I guess we'll find out. There's a coin. And then one more. Got it. All right, so far so good. I think we just wanna keep our momentum. Keep Mario running forward. Don't look back. I think that's the number one trick here. Oh my goodness, now I can look back. So they do sort of pop back up over time, which is nice, but not something I wanna risk, is it? Get another coin. What about this snail? Come on, whoa. Just another coin. So how am I getting up here? Triple jump, oh no, was actually not what I wanted. So I just ended up doing a wall jump up that. Whoa, oh no, come on Mario, quick, quick. Here's a good little pit stop. I'm supposed to be going up there, I believe. Let's go for it. I hope that's right, okay, there it is, there it is. I think the other side, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Um, Just had a one up. Got it, got it, got it. Oh man, that was crazy. But hey, we made it to the tippity top and got the secret shine of Gelato Beach. Pretty cool. So let's see if we can continue with that one, bringing us up to 23. Whoa, what is that thing? That was a little freaky. That'll definitely be for next episode. But hey, in the meantime, our first shine of this one is turning out quite well. Toad looks a little distressed. Horrible, horrible, Princess Peach has been kidnapped. Uh-oh. Well, we'll definitely help with that, just not now, later, later. <laughs> okay, sorry to keep Princess Peach waiting, but we just got a couple other things to figure out first, like episode two of Gelato Beach, Mirror Madness, Tilt Slam Bam. So what does this mean? Whoa, the huge wiggler. He's so cute up there. He must be ginormous, though. Alert, alert, just look at the top of the tower. Yeah, he's up there all right. Taking a big snooze. <laughs> what about those things? Oh, those are the mirrors. I guess they're like solar panels in a way. I get, well, I guess they're mirrors, but they sort of look like solar panels. Some weird thing has curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sand bird egg. Sand bird egg? Huh. Well, let's run around and find out. Oh, there's somebody over here we can talk to. Hello. I'm so worried about the egg. Ah! Uh, and we'll talk to whoever we can around here. Oh no. Hello. We need to get those mirrors back into position now. 
All right, well, I'll do what I can to help with that. A couple more uh, Piantas to talk to. If we don't do something quick, the sandbird won't hatch. Those things up on the mirrors. I wonder if you could shake them off by rocking the mirrors. Guess we'll have to find out. I'll have you know that if you use the dune buds wisely, you can reach heights you never would normally. If you know, you know, like the tops of the huts and places like that. Very cool, so I guess we could do that right here. Find out. Oh no, whoa! Yeah, that's really cool, I do like it though. Uh, what about you? Oh, you're the sunglasses guy. You're around everywhere, aren't you? All right, so we don't need to hear about this one. Instead, we're going to... Oh, that one recessed, it's a big footprint. Huh, wasn't expecting that. Who made that? Maybe Bigfoot's something that pops up in the Mario universe, I don't know. Either way, we can use that to get up here without too much of a problem, which is nice. Where are we going? Oh, here's another one. Oh, this is a big one. Whoa, look at this. It's popping a sand case, or a staircase out of the sand. <laughs> sort of is a sand case at that point. Okay, so how are we dealing with these guys? They seem a little tricky, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did that work? I think it would have if maybe I spray it with water to upset the balance. All right, well, there they go. They're off balance and, whoa, see ya. <laughs> Okay, that's great, that's great. We got two more to deal with though. Let's try this guy. They got these little suction cup feet kind of things. There we go, there's another one gone. And while you're chasing me, oh, don't launch me off, don't do it. Gotta keep going, keep going. Oh, you're wobbling. Ready? Got it. So there's one done. Yeah, it's gonna line up. Very nice, very nice. Whoa. Oh wow, we get sent back here. Good job, two areas left. The one thing I did notice is I think we just tackled the most difficult one first, which is pretty convenient. It seems like the other ones had less of those little suction cup guys. Yeah, this one has two. So maybe we'll just be a little proactive, get the more difficult ones out of the way first. Oh, I could go for a double. Could go for a double. Okay, hit you, and then go over this way real quick. Ah, not quite gonna work. For either of them, I try to go for both and I get nothing because it doesn't feel like I'm not close, but apparently I am. Okay, let's get over here and just launch this guy. There you go. And then you. Now before we go to the next one, I really need to get some of my health back if possible. There we go, there's the second one done. One more remaining. This Wiggler's in for a rude awakening. Excellent, only one area now remains. So there we go, our health is back to full. And this one, while it is only one of them, the area is a little bit smaller. Either way, gonna send them flying, and that'll work. Excellent. Whoa, it's so shiny. He just falls apart. Okay, that was a little brutal. I wasn't expecting all that. Gotta choose where you take a nap next time, huh? It's going way over there, right where we had the secret before. Okay, well, let's be sure to get that then. Oh, please leave me alone. Ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, and there we go, our second shine for Gelato Beach. Not too bad. So let's save and continue. That'll be shine 24. I don't know how many shines are in total in this game. I know that in Mario 64 it was 120, right? So maybe it'll be the same deal for this game? Not quite sure. Either way, however many we get, we'll try our best to get every single one of them. Let's go for shine three. So Gelato Beach, episode three. Wiggler ahoy, full steam ahead, uh-oh. So I guess the Wiggler we knocked off before isn't so happy. He's furious. I love how they do sort of follow some kind of narrative though, that's so cool. Made the Wiggler mad in the last shine, he comes back to bite you in this one. Oh my gosh, causing a, quite a big sandstorm. I'll protect the Dune Bud, you'll see. 
Okay, so I think what I could maybe do, he just ran right over this, right? Maybe I could, uh, whoa, whoa, majorly derailed. And I think I got a slam on him just so he wouldn't, oh gosh, um, wait, wait, got it. Just like we would with PD Piranha. Oh, he did not like that. Wiggling all over the place. Okay, well, here he comes again. Oh, he's really steamed up now. Come on, get him again. Ah, oh, not quite. I don't think. Actually, okay, where is he gonna go? Oh, that would have worked too. Okay, where is he headed to next? Right over here, right over here. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah, oh, that was way too soon. I didn't realize he was gonna take that path, but it still might work. There it is, there it is. Triple jump up there. Now's your chance. Attack with a ground pound. We got it. He's wriggling, he's writhing. But I don't think he's done. In fact, he might be angrier than ever. Oh no. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So where did he go? Whoa, whoa, here he comes. Clear path, clear path. Okay, here we go, here we go. Right, uh, this might be too soon. I guess we're about to find out. He's charging over, right? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I didn't quite work. Okay, I don't know where he's gonna come from, but we're here, we're here, no? Uh, jeez, Louise, that is crazy. It looks like he was frequenting this path a little bit, right? Oh man, that is dusty. I just gotta wait for him to come back. He will. Once he does. Here he comes, here he comes. This is it, this is it. Yeah, we got him, we got him. Okay, so I got knocked over too, but no big deal. We'll go over, man, what an impact. I don't know exactly where we need to land, so I'm gonna go right where the arrow is. And boom, that got him. See you, Wiggler. Jeez, that was quite the rampage, wasn't it? Right back there, three shines in a row that just ended up on that end of the island. How weird is that? Okay, well, let's go get it. But so far, great progress with everything. These shines have been very exciting, very difficult, but lots of fun too. And got it. Okay, so there we go, shine number three. We won against Wiggler. I wonder if he'll come back later, because some of these bosses seem to come back multiple times. So far it's happened with Petey, with uh, Cooper Blooper. Will it happen with Wiggler? Guess I'll have to wait and see. But for right now, we have Shine 4 to worry about. So let's get right back to it. Hopping straight back in. Here we go. And with episode four, what are we going to get? The sand bird is born. That's right. We knocked Wiggler off to hatch the sand bird egg. So where is that then? We have to go inside, I guess? You seem pretty excited. Hello. Hey, guess what? The sandbird, it finally hatched. Don't bother looking for it though. It flew off right away. Huh. So I guess we missed our chance to see it hatching. That's a little bit of a shame, but there still might be some things to experience, right? You can only hope. That big caterpillar is finally gone. Ooh. Now I can get back to tending to my dune, dune buns in peace. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I think for right now, we want to try to get up there somehow. Oh, I could talk to you too. Maybe you'll give me some directions. It, it, it hatched. The legendary sand bird is born. It broke the tower and flew away. That was unexpected. Hello, can I talk to you? There you go. The store is closed today for family playtime. When my son slides down, I'm going to throw him back up. But he doesn't seem to be coming down at all. Ah! Okay, you know, give me a warning next time. <laughs> I'd be more polite. I wanna slide down and dive onto that platform down there. I think I might be able to bounce from there right into that hole. Oh, the hole that the, the level showed when we first entered. This kid keeps talking about jumping into that hole down there. It isn't just unsafe, it's impossible, huh? You can do it? Yes, we can. You know, I was a pretty wild child back in my day. Even so, I find myself yelling at the kids to quiet down. Maybe quietly asking them to quiet down would be maybe a leading by example, then maybe that would help. Sliding down the patch of odd colored sand, there's tons of fun. 
but I think sitting here and enjoying the view is nice too. That's great. All right, let's try it. Oh, whoa, whoa. we did it. No, wait, do, do we do it? <laughs> yeah, we did it. Oh, and it's a secret level. Whoa, it's the sandbird. Uh-oh, this looks like it could be difficult. <laughs> let's go for it. Wow, so we just get the ride at the legendary sandbird. It, it, it is climbing around the tower. Watch your feet. So I guess I have to collect these seven red coins that are on the bird as well as I possibly can. But I think this is gonna get pretty perilous pretty soon. So I could get the more difficult ones first. There's five and there's six. So where are the last two? Oh, there's one more there. The music is so relaxing, but the concept is so stressful. Whoa, whoa, we got some turbulence up here. I think my best bet is to not jump. I don't know where we're going. Oh, we are turning. Um, that's okay, you got it, Mario. Are we about to do a full flip? Man, oh man. Uh, I'm hoping I haven't missed any of the, the red coins quite yet. Maybe there's gonna be one at the top of the tower? Cause I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing right now. We're flying up to the tower. It's so crazy, cause it's so relaxing, yet so stressful. Okay, got it. I'm just gonna stay here. I think we're about to turn again, though, is the thing. I wonder if I should make a leap of faith. I don't feel like it's worth it. Oh, there it was. Final red coin. We're almost there. Do I do it? I don't know. I mean, I think we can just go it. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Awesome. There we go, we did it. Awesome, I thought that was gonna go awfully, but we ended up surviving the uh, Sandbird quite well. All right. So there is another shine for Gelato Beach. That one is definitely more of an infamous one, but we might end up going back there for something I can't quite remember. Guess we'll have to wait and see. So back here in the Fino Plaza, I'm not gonna worry about that weird shift just yet. Instead, we are hopping right back in to go for our fifth shine already. We are definitely making a much faster pace this time and that I really appreciate. You know, the sooner the better, right? Episode five, Il Pantissimo's Sand Sprint. Huh, what is this? <laughs> Everybody's dancing, having a good time. Whoa, is this like the Coupe of the Quick Race? I think it might be. Everybody's running around. Hello, can I talk to you? Once we work up a sweat, let's jump in the ocean. Oh, that sounds like fun. Here's Il Pantissimo. I am Il Pantissimo, or Piantissimo. And now we shall race to that flag. Okay, let's go for it. Who can get there first? I mean, I feel like, you know, we can get pretty speedy at times. It is a race to the finish flag and only one can triumph. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go! Okay, you had a little bit of an early start there, but I think we'll be okay. What we're gonna do is we're going to try to triple jump just like that. And then I don't quite know where to go from here because I could, oh, there's not a thing. Uh, can I wall jump this? Oh, I can, no problem. Nice. Uh, can I get there, can I get there? Almost, almost. I made it! In 23 seconds, we beat Il Pantissimo. Not bad, I don't know where he went. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Not bad, right? Ooh, ooh, ah, you're pretty good. You have some speed. You've grown ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly. We'll meet again, and goodbye. So there's our shine for beating Il Piantissimo. Before we get that, I wanna to talk to everybody, because there's a lot of people here. That is all I wanted to say. Now, away with you, be gone. What about all of you? Hello. Huh? You saying that any path's okay as long as you find the goal? That is true. Being healthy is what matters most. <laughs> I agree. Health is so important. Il Piantissimo has been turning up all over lately. Guess he's a bit of a celebrity. These competitions seem like a waste of energy, if you ask me. I mean, you're the one watching them? 
Why not do something you think is worth the energy? Okay, no wait. I'm pressing the B button, but it still counts. Weird. I wanted to talk to you. This guy finishes every race dead last. <laughs> really? I could have made some money if I'd opened the stand here. Maybe next time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sometimes I just gotta dance. Sorry, don't be sorry. Dancing is good. Can we talk to you? There you go. The legendary sandbird is gone. If only it could have stayed with us for a little while. Well, sometimes you just gotta cherish this moment, right? Oh, sorry. This is a kind of festival, isn't it? Yeah, get down. Do your best, guys. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's the, the Doot Doot sisters, right? A special juice that will help you beat Il Pantissimo? I'm sorry, we don't know how to make those. Well, luckily, I didn't need too much help. You know, I'm just really not into sweaty guys. Do do do. It's okay. Boy, you sure do have a lot of energy. Admirable. Okay, so there we go. We talked to everybody. Just sort of wanted to see if anybody had anything fun to say. I just like talking to the people in this game because you didn't get to do that in the previous Mario games is run up the people and just talk to them. All right, well, there we go. Save and continue. And we're making your way through pretty fast. So we have the extra time to talk to some folks. So here we are back on Delfino Plaza. Once again, for the billionth time, I know Princess Peach still needs saving, but it can wait, right? I hope. Gelato Beach, episode six, Red Coins in the Coral Reef. Oh, I do remember this one being a bit tricky. But also it was really neat. So basically there's a big patch of coral and stone and stuff under the water here. And we have to dive down and grab all those red coins. Um, mister, you know where the coral reef is, right? There's something sparkling out there. I'm sure of it. That look in your eyes, I've seen it before. Go get him. All right, so let's go ahead and try to get some cool treasure here then. Sounds like fun. See, you can see it in the distance right there, but if there's some extra piantas out and about, I do want to talk to them. Ow, sorry. Hey there. I heard that someone found red coins in the coral reef. But there are fish out there that'll drag you to the sea floor. Oh no, so this won't be an easy trip through the coral reef. There might be some dangerous fish around that we'll have to be careful about. And what about you guys? Hello. I told you what a bad swimmer this guy was, right? <laughs> Coral Reef is nice to view from here, and it's safe too. What about you? The Coral Reef? Yeah, it's that rocky spot out in the water. Yeah, to the left of the shop, that's it. Okay, so we can see it, and is that the shine, or is that a different shine? Oh, is this like a little, a little coconut drinks, that's so cute. Some places to drink them out here. So let's hop in. Oh, that looks like the dangerous fish, that pink one over there. So we'll dive under, and we'll see what we can do around here. I already see our first coin right here. And you can see they're pretty tricky right now. There's some really hiding in this coral area. There's our second one. So I'll look all over. Some of them are actually on the move too. You can see this one. They're following the schools of fish. Oh, so you gotta be quick. It went into the rock. There it is, there it is. Can I get it? Oh no, come on. Oh, maybe I could use this to speed boost? The flood? It keeps trying to get away from me. I can't seem to quite get it. Come on, come on. How do I get it? Now it's like too far. I'm a little confused. I might be doing something wrong. What if I try with this? It doesn't seem to really do anything either way. How do I catch up to this thing? Come on. Am I doing something wrong? I have to be, right? I got really close that time though, come on. This thing just will not give up. It went under. That's not fair. Okay, we'll go back to that one. Hopefully it comes back. Yeah, it's gonna go back from where it was coming from. That's good at least. There are other places to go around, so maybe we should worry about those first. I think I see this one. These stationary ones, much easier to grab, huh? There's three out of eight. And our fourth one, chilling out. Right there. Uh, 
and I don't quite see any way down there in that little crevice, but we'll maybe check again soon. But we already saw the other two chasing around, because we had the fifth one, and there's that one. See, how exactly do we do this, I wonder? I wonder if I were to jump over it and do something like that, right? Does that do anything? No, not at all. This is so tricky. See, the last three are all gonna be with schools of fish. So how exactly am I going to get them if they keep going into the rock like that? That's so odd for a Nintendo game. I feel like they would have thought that through if they just cut through the, the rock. Well, I think there's, there's one there, another here. See, that doesn't do much. So why in the world can I not, maybe if I just swim up and down like this, this would be faster? It seems like I'm catching up, so. Come on, come on, got it! That's what I gotta do. Okay, so swimming up and down with the, the, the B and the Y button seems to be a faster way to do it. I don't know if I'm just swimming wrong, you know? But hey, there's the seventh one. So where is the final red coin? Gotta be around here somewhere, right? Is it following another school of fish or is it just somewhere I might have missed? That rhymed. Not quite sure at the moment, but my curiosity says it has to be down here. This seems pretty tricky, right? But no, not quite. Where could it have gone? Not down that way. I don't see it following any of the other school of fish. Because if you don't know, that's what a group of fish is called, a school of them. Which is pretty neat. Huh. It's gotta be around somewhere. That's for sure. Where exactly? Maybe it's a little farther out? I hope it didn't get stuck somewhere. That'd be a shame. Oh, it was right there. So it was a little hidden because it sort of steps down here. There we go. Definitely a bit of a tricky one. But overall, we got it. And that's... That's the most important thing. Okay, so right here at the very top of the rock, boom, another shine. Oddly enough, that one wasn't difficult, just a little bit more time consuming, I suppose. There we go, that is shine at 28. So I think that means we have two more normal shines left to get in this level. So we're making some great progress through that, for sure. And I know I've said before, this is one of the toughest Mario games ever. It might not seem like it's so far because we've been making some great progress, but I'm sure sooner or later, the difficulty is really gonna step up. Gelato Beach, episode seven, it's Shadow Mario, after him. Well, then yeah, let's get after him. So he's right at the beginning. Oh man. So I might not waste too much time here. We'll just start chasing him. Actually, no, I do want this one. He's so quick. But if we could catch up and surpass Il Pantissimo, I'd think this wouldn't be too bad, right? Oh no. Come on, get ya. There we go, that was super quick. Dang it, this ain't over. Oh man, that might be one of the quickest shines we've ever had. All right, well, I got gotcha. ya. So there we go, shine 29. That rhymes too. So I think, yeah, now we have one more shine left to do before the bonus secret ones. And then we can finally, next ep episode, figure out what in the world is going on with that thing. Toad is at least getting a workout in, running around in circles. Okay, so, episode eight, the Watermelon Festival. Oh no. So speaking about difficult shines, I remember this one particularly being really, really tricky. And for reasons you wouldn't expect. But let's just sort of figure out what's going on with this Watermelon Festival. Cause that sounds fun, right? The Watermelon Festival is now open. Why must I stand here? I'd rather be drinking a smoothie. Then you should go do that. A watermelon smoothie actually sounds really tasty. I don't think I've had that specifically, a watermelon smoothie. I've had plenty of watermelon, of course, but never a smoothie version. Everybody's running over to go get some, that's cool. Hello. 
Yay, yay, watermelon festival. Get down, get down. Can I talk to you as well? I don't think it's gonna let me because they're just, they're moving too much. Oh, there they go. Wait, can I talk to you now? I just wanted to say hi. Whatever, there's plenty of other people. He doesn't want to join in because he hates to lose. I won't be joining in the contest this year. Nope, sorry. I'm happy to just sit and eat watermelon. I mean, that does sound like best of both worlds to get to relax and have watermelon. The guy next to me forced a coin on me and then, well, he made me switch watermelons with him. Yeah, mine was so much bigger than his. What a meanie. That is not very nice. So how about it? Mine's the biggest, right? I mean, right? This thing is in the big man, or in the bag, man. In the bag, ha <laughs> I don't know, they all look exactly the same size to me. I think I have the biggest watermelon right now. But what'll I do if somebody brings a bigger one? Oh no. Oh, it's the Doo 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 Sisters. Uh, just roll your watermelon over this pier to the shop. Doo 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 Doo. The watermelon festival is about to end. Hurry, hurry, good luck, and doot doot. So what will this sign say? Surf Cabana, watermelon festival starting here. So we'll talk to you really fast, but I think you get the idea of what we're supposed to do here. We have to find the biggest watermelon and bring it to the cabana. I wanna take the biggest watermelon and make smoothies, really good ones, and give them to the shine sprites. And, and give them a shine sprite. An appreciation for all they do for us, you know? Oh, I see, give the watermelon, the smoothie, the, give the watermelon smoothie to a shine sprite? Can't they drink? I didn't realize. So yeah, there is a watermelon right over here, but this doesn't look quite big enough now, does it? So I think our search continues. We should look around. Oh no, oh no. I'd rather them, ah, not launch me, but here we are getting launched. Oh no, oh no, this is not good. Let's maybe yeah, just keep going this way. I know where I am. But yeah, maybe we could find a bigger watermelon somewhere. I guess that's a big question for right now. And up here, what do you know? A huge watermelon. But here comes the difficult part. How are we going to get this down there without it totally falling apart? Because it doesn't take much of a nudge to get it to move as you get. Ah! You can see. It almost feels like a big water balloon. Oh boy. We'll try our best here and see what ends up happening. Maybe if I go with this path, oh no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Oh no. Um. I don't know what's gonna happen if it falls down this way. Guess we're about to find out. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. But we don't want these guys to launch it, now do we? That probably wouldn't be good for the watermelon. So I'm trying my best to just get through this without these guys being mean to me. No, 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 no. Ah, hey, stop. That was so mean. The watermelon's in one piece out. Oh, don't you dare. Hey, leave that water. Ah! <laughs> so it gets really crowded. You can start to see the issue here. And no matter what we do to these guys, they don't go away, at least not for good. So we need to be really careful about choosing our path and hope that we can find one where we can get the watermelon over without it getting totally destroyed because I hope it'll still be up here. Yeah, it is, it is. So let's get that another go. And if there's ever been a situation where slow and steady wins the race, I think it's this one, you know? It is all about, uh, well, never mind. I was gonna say small, careful nudges, but that really didn't get me far, did it? I'm gonna try it one more time and see if we can't make this dream happen. What happens if I spray it? Is that maybe a better option? I mean, that typically seems to be the way to go for most things in this game, right? Is that you spray stuff. But no, it doesn't really carry much weight. It, it's good for some slight adjustments, sure, but I think in general, it doesn't work too well. This is definitely not easy, and across this pit, whoa, especially since it, it's a little, a little weird how the game can't really handle it. You'd think, Maybe this isn't the intended path or something. And then Mario immediately slides down. Oh boy. 
Okay, it's inevitable, it's gonna fall. Let's try to prepare for that and knock these guys out of the way. Where did it go? Ugh, it seems so weird because it doesn't launch where you'd think it would. This is not an easy mission, like I said. So it's sort of a good thing we've gone to this point pretty quickly because we need a lot of time to figure this out. There might be a better strategy involved that I'm just not quite seeing. Whoa, okay, it went really far there. I'm trying to catch up to it. It's still out there. Okay, that's a really good sign. Oh no, never mind. See, that's where you, you can't let it get too far ahead of you. And very easily, I, I would never blame someone for skipping this one, you know what I mean? It can very easily get frustrating because it just doesn't feel like it actually gives you the proper chance to do what you're supposed to do. And that's why I could sort of feel a little baloney. That's not the mud I'm in the press. I gotta get back up there and try again. So I'm trying my luck this way. I push it to the left. And the problem is there is seemingly an army of these guys. Could you please move your tuckus, please? <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Okay, so we gotta try that again, but I think that still might be the way to go. It's just, it's such a sensitive little watermelon and it just, it's so hard to get it to where I want it to go. Okay, so I was able to be a bit proactive that time. Whoa, that was odd. I think that was a mirror I was seeing. And that certainly made a difference. This is where we just need a little bit more, just a little bit more. Uh, I don't actually, maybe not though. Are we supposed to make it just to the harbor here or do we have to push it all the way up? I actually don't know. Um, memory's not really serving me here, so I don't know if we're about to reach the end or this is just the beginning. Uh, so let's use everything we've learned. It is certainly the biggest watermelon in town. Come on. There we go. Uh, this is where things get really, really scary. So far so good, as long as it doesn't randomly teleport out of the way, right? We should be okay. Just having Mario ever so slightly nudge it. Yeah, there we go, there we go. And right about here, we'll have to make a slight adjustment. Same thing again. Okay, pretty good. We're almost there. We almost made it. We got it! Whoa, no, that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't need to get out the caliper for this one. You win! There we go! And all of our hard work, gonna get grinded up right there. That is so cool. So there we have it. The shine is gonna pop out of there after we fed it some tasty watermelon. So we'll grab that in just a moment. Might as well talk to everybody again. Now I can make the best watermelon juice for the shine sprites. The yearly tradition is safe thanks to you. People who eat watermelon with salt sprinkled on it are not allowed in this contest. No, strictly forbidden. Why? I don't know why. That's just the rule we've always had. I've never heard of that, but you know what? Why, do, why would I care? You know, if that makes somebody happier with their watermelon, I think they should go for it. I think that's a silly rule. I wanted to get some juice smoothies for the kids, but now, I guess we're all out? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hello. The owner of this shop is obsessed with watermelons. I mean, I, I can't blame them. Watermelons RTC. Have you looked up in the hills yet? Yes, I have. And we already found it, so. <laughs> Here we go, get what I think a lot of people, oh my goodness. Mario, I don't think that's safe. He's standing on the spikes. Please be careful. But I think a lot of people do refer to that one as one of the hardest ones to get in this game. But luckily, it was tough for sure, but not too bad of a struggle. We did make our way through by the end of it, and that's awesome. So while that was the last shine in the episodes, we of course still have our two secret shines and our 100 coin shine. So I think we're good to hop right back in. So let's get to it. So for the first secret shine, we have to go of course to the first secret level, which was our first episode. So lots of firsts. Right down this way, Dune Bud Sand Castle Secret. You need to get back into there and do the little obstacle course. Okay, so here we are again. Gonna jump off that guy and head straight in. So of course, this time we get to keep Flood. We have to get all of the red coins. So we don't need to worry about that shine, of course, but where's the button? 
not here. Okay then, maybe it's up this way? Oh, there it is. So I'll slam on that. But the eight red coins. Now, are there any back there? It's not gonna pull any tricks on me, right? I don't think so. So we're good to move forward. There's the first one. Oh, and I'm seeing a bunch of them. So there's two, three, four, oh gosh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I know where each of the red coins are. It is certainly going to be a challenge to get them all on time, especially since I was wasting time sort of looking around. But I, I feel like it was necessary to do. There's one. So I'm just trying to formulate a whole strategy on how to get over here. Got it. And then right there. Two more remaining. I don't have a ton of time here, so I'm trying to make the most of it. Oh boy, this is gonna be close for sure. Eight seconds, come on Mario. No Mario, why do you have to grab onto the corner of it? Got it, oh my goodness, that was close. Whew. Yeah, 2.58 seconds remaining. Pretty cool though, we're going to just Okay, I was gonna try to slam it. Imagine if I fell there, that would have been not so good. But there we go, we get the red coin shine for the sand dune secret. Pretty nice. We will save with that one and continue. And let's see what's in store for us next. So that means that we should have one more secret shine and then the 100 coins. So I think for this next one, we actually have to head back into the eighth shine. I don't know, this one's a little tricky. Yeah, we need to head into the eighth episode. And there should be a sprout in the ground somewhere. So I'll try to have to look around for that. And it should lead to something special as far as I can tell. Could it be this one? Whoa. Uh. And then, if this is what I think it is, what we're supposed to do here is we're supposed to spray it, and inside is a shine. Now that's a really complicated secret. I don't know how many people are supposed to find that on their own, but there you go. Pretty cool, right? So let's keep going over this way so we can go and grab that. Luckily, it doesn't require too much work to actually get. It's just a really tricky concept, I suppose. Once you know it, pretty easy. So there we go, got it. And there might even be other shines you can get that one in. That's just the one I have written down, so that's how we get it, 32. So we're getting somewhere. We really are jumping up in shines pretty quickly. I feel like we're moving through these levels sometimes faster than we did in Mario 64, which is pretty crazy. Okay, that means we have one shine remaining for today's episode before we run off and see Princess Peach in the next one. But let's go for it. Back into Gel Gelato Beach for one last time to get the 100 coin shine. And this one, we're actually once again heading into episode eight. So let's go for it. We know the deal with this one. Just gotta run around, be super duper diligent and try to get 100 coins. And why I think we wanna do this one is because there's a lot of those little flippers around and what do you know, with these ones we can jump on them and get an extra coin here and there that way. I do see some stuff over here I'm certainly curious about though. It was this little slide. This looks like a lot of fun, or not slide, it's a, uh, a swing. So I do wanna try to grab some of these without getting that blue coin, which honestly is probably the trickiest part about all this. Uh, so I think yeah, the way we do this, that's so cute, I love it. So I'll try one more time. Uh, okay, I got it, wow, that was, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself for that one. But I also think that there was a couple of coins on the top of these palm trees. Could I just run up it? Maybe not. Oh, that does seem a little tricky. Let's try the thicker one first. And yes, there are coins up here. And the blue coin I'll need to avoid. Got it. Cool. And four more over this way. Okay, so 
Let's get these, and that already gets us at the 17, so that's actually pretty good. And if you're unlike me, and don't mind collecting the blue coins by mistake, then you'll probably be able to get those without as much stress as I am going through with it. Now, I don't know if these things over here are going to give us any extra. But I guess it's good to check. Yeah, not quite looking like it. But that's okay, where we can get started with a lot of this. And now it's gonna be hard to be diligent, knowing which ones I have gotten and which ones I haven't. Because they don't stay in the ground forever, unfortunately, that would make it a lot easier. I can get some easy coins. The problem is the coins disappear so fast and I missed that one. So it's important to go for one at a time, I suppose, so I can actually grab the coin in time. But why? Okay, I got it still, but the it was like in the bounce part of the hitbox. It, it's so weird. Got it. So that gets us to 21. And I do see a couple of these little guys up here, including an extra coin up that way, or actually an extra couple of coins. So let's try to wall jump. And this will be five of them? Pretty nice. So what is the red one? Oh, you got the rocket nozzle. Power up with ZR and blast off. Cool, I'll try it out. Look at this, ready? Whoa! <laughs> it's fun for sure. I don't know if it's quite what I needed, but especially since I dropped the normal flood for that. But I will keep it in mind. Oh yeah, oh no, I'm doing that wrong. I sort of skipped this step now, didn't I? There's a couple more of these guys. Remember, each one is uh, rude. Just give me a chance to actually bounce back here, maybe. <laughs> Get it bounced back, because they're bouncing me all over the place. Uh, there we go. But yeah, there's so many of these guys, and each one counts as a coin, so if I can actually grab it in time. Come on, got it. So we're already at the 30, but the problem is, we've experienced this before, they do sort of dry up pretty fast. So we just need to do our best to get through as many as we can here. And remember, we just found the shine down that way. And with it, there was, I think a couple of coins. So worth checking in on once I get rid of all these guys. I figure might as well be diligent, do this part first. So that we can guaranteed just move on from it. And I don't know if there is right now. Okay, I was gonna say, that, but I think that there is Hold on, let's not do that yet. But there is some extra coins to get on top of that hut we're next to. And I think if we use the thrust nozzle we just got, that'll make a difference. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got you. Yep, okay, so before we get too sidetracked, there's a lot of places to go. I just need to go down this way in one, two, three, four. Ooh, four of them, I thought there was only three. So I'm going to charge up and, oh man. The, the one downside is you don't have much control of your movement when you do that. Oh, there's a sleeping one up here. What are you doing up here, buddy? Can I, ow, no! That's not what I wanted. Where'd you go? Okay, he fell down. See, here's the problem though, I don't, ah, bees? Where are the bees coming from? Ah! This is not fun. Okay, how do I get rid of the bees then? Are they just not gonna let me? Okay, maybe I wanna leave that, because there's a blue coin at the top of it. I just consider it for later, I guess. Yeah, I sort of wish I had my other nozzle, because it would be easier to get around. But I wanted to try for the blue one. That's a blue coin, okay, never mind. I'm fine without it, I don't need it. We are really hurting at the moment, though, so if I could find my other nozzle somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's right down here. Don't mind if I do. Yep, I'll happily take that. And let's look around a little bit, because we do have these, which I think most of these aren't going to get me much. Oh wait, there are some coins up there. Oh, I do see those. Once again, might prove to be a bit tricky to actually, especially when I can't see. Oh no, I don't trust this. One more time, one more time. Whoa, not what I wanted. Got it? No! <laughs> All right, I collected the blue coin. I'll try to keep note of that for the blue coin episode if we accidentally, because I don't think they show back up. Is, I could have just done this! I didn't know you could climb that. All right, well, it is what it is. Um, like I said, I'll try to point that out during the blue coin episode. 
so that people watching as a guide can know that that's there. But in the meantime, not gonna stress about it. What's happened has happened. There are a whole army of these guys. I guess I've gotten some of them. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of them, I guess. I didn't realize I had gotten this many. But I haven't gotten you, so that will be 49. And it really is slow going for this area, huh? What about this one? There's 50, actually 51. So once we get all of these guys done, I think that that's most of the easy ones that I know about of the way. Hmm. I'll grab you. No, 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 no. Gotcha. You thought you were gonna get me there. Nah, -uh, I got you. But they all get up and then I sort of, I lose track of which ones I have gotten and which ones I haven't. So just trying to find that last, you know, sneaky one that might still be hiding a coin somewhere. Like I'm pretty sure you might be one. Yep. And maybe this one. Got it. So I guess it's the 57. I wonder if there's anything tricky we can do with the surfboards. Not looking like it. Now how about the area over here with the red coins? Is there going to be any extra yellow coins waiting for us? Didn't mean to do that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but I might as well try to get over there any way I can. Yeah, I'm not seeing coins of any kind. That's a bit of a disappointment. Now it seems like under here there might be some coins. It's honestly, aha, hard to tell, but look at this. The whole collection, of none, none of them are blue coins, luckily. It doesn't seem like it. Ah, there is, there is. Okay, so be careful. <laughs> what a tricky blue coin, too. You really have to search everywhere for those things. Okay, so there's 64 blue coins, how thematic. I don't see any others around here, so I think that might wanna go back that way. Wow, now I'm really starting to run low on places to search. Oh yeah, okay, so for breaking the watermelon, we do get coins. I don't remember if there was a maximum, but I remember every time I broke the watermelon before, it did always succeed in giving me one coin, so maybe I could just do this forever? I don't know, I'll keep doing it until it stops giving me coins. I don't know how many that'll be, but maybe this is why you should do this level, is just, or do this shine specifically this episode, is because you can just easily get some coins this way. So I'll keep doing this and see how many coins it ends up getting me. Ah, so it looks like I got about nine or 10 coins from it before it stopped coughing them up. I think we were at 65 or 64 before, but now as you can see, won't quite work. So that's still a good lead though. We'll have to go and try to find some more somewhere. Don't get that blue coin. But I know of, of course, a couple more watermelons we could get to. So let's try those out now. We have this one, which I think I could just run straight to the wall or something. Yep, there we go. So I need to do that 10 times each with this one. And ah, uh, hopefully it gets me somewhere. Okay, so I was able to get all that I could out of that one. We're now at 74, so yeah, it looks like it gets you 10 coins each. Cause I got us from 74 to 84, so. We'll be doing the same thing again now with that one watermelon way up there. I don't know if any other watermelon locations, I'm pretty sure there isn't. So that'll get us to 94. So for everything else, still a bit of a mystery, trying to figure that out. I mean, I know there were one or two coins we had missed from just not being able to collect them in time. So I'm really hoping that's not gonna ruin us and make it so that we can't get this one. But remember that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think, on there. I wonder if these birds will do anything. Let's get a little bit closer to them, because they seem peculiar, right? They're making a noise. Where do they fly off to? Hard to keep up with, so I would assume that's not anything, but I don't know. Oh, no, it did! There you go, there's a coin! Awesome! Let's try some of these guys. I'm guessing that guy's gonna drop a blue coin because it's a blue bird or something. But there we go, there's another one that's 86. So if I could somehow get to 90, then all I need are the 10 coins from this watermelon. That might be uh, easier said than done. Either way, we'll try to break the watermelon a bit now. It's not gonna be as easy as the other two, where I can just smash them against the wall real fast. 
I'll have to find some other way to sort of be tricky with it. Maybe just like that. But even that, it, it's just not having it. So this was gonna take some time. Oh, there's another one. Got it, okay. So unfortunately, I did miss a coin. It popped out of the watermelon, but I couldn't get it in time. And I, I honestly can't believe that this might be one of the better ways to do all this. You know, it just, it feels so ridiculous. But it, it's so labor intensive. It's just a lot of stuff and I'm not super into that part. So I'm doing what I can about it, but so far it has been a struggle. Okay, there's another one right there. So I got all the ones from the watermelon. There was another bird. So I have three more left I can get. So I'm pretty sure what I wanna do here is try to get them from up there, but I really need more water first. And then we'll try the, the one where I'm supposed to use the rocket nozzle. I can't quite do that, of course. I mean, I guess I could try, and if I get the blue one, then it's not the end of the world. I just would really rather not to, but I'll give it a go. Okay, so if I were to do that right there, from about here, there we go, there we go, got it! Okay, we did it, we found a way to get through all that, that was so much work. It baffles me how few coins they pack into these levels. It's just barely possible, but once again, that coin is gonna spawn, or that shine's gonna spawn, right where a bunch of them have. So we're just gonna go right over there if I can and grab it and be done with this one. It was a lot of fun, sure, but it was also really, really, really difficult. Okay, so it is what it is. We got that one blue shine and we are done with Gelato Beach. So I'm really glad that's out of the way. I know a lot of people say this is a really difficult one and for good reason, uh, especially that watermelon level, just yeesh, everything about that. So next episode, we'll be checking out when the world's going on here Delfino Plaza, there's that weird ship, Princess Peach has been stolen, what in the world is going on? I guess we're gonna have to find out in the next episode of Super Mario Sunshine for the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.